Hi guys, Mr. Marangon here. Our maths focus for the next few days is going to be subtracting, and in particular subtracting two digit numbers using a number line. So we've got a sum here, 33 take away 17, and what we're going to do is use a number line to help us work out the answer. So starting from 17, which is at the left hand side of the number line, we're going to add a number to get up to the next multiple of 10. So multiples of 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40, etc. So what we would do, we would do a little jump. We would add 3 using our number bonds to 20 because 17 plus 3 makes 20. Okay, so now we're on 20 and we need to get to 33. So we're going to get to our next multiple of 10 after 20, which is 30. So what we need to do is add another 10. So we'll do another jump from here to here, and this time we've added 10, okay? And we're on 30. So now our final jump, we need to get from 30 to 33. So we need to add another three. So we'll jump from here to here, and we've added three. So there we go. We've got from 17 up to 33. And now what we need to do is add these three numbers together. So we know that three add three, double three is six, and we've got 10 here. So we're adding 10 and six together. Think about our place value, 10 add six is 16. So there we go. We've used our number line to find the difference between two two digit numbers. So let's do another one. So I'll quickly rub this one out and we'll do another example to hopefully help you when you come to do this yourself. Let's go for 49 and we're going to take away 26. Okay, 49, take away 26. So again, let's do our number line. I know you're used to doing number lines in class. We've done those a lot. And at this end of the number line is our low number, our small number, which is 26. So we'll write that here, 26. And our big number, 49, goes at the end of the number line, just over there. Okay, and we need to find the difference between 49 and 26. So we'll start with 26, and we'll get to our next multiple of 10, which is 4, because 6 add 4 makes 10. So let's jump from here to here. We've added 4, and now we're on 30. Okay, we could jump now from 30 to our next multiple of 10, which is which is 40, isn't it? So we need to add another 10 to get from 30 to 40. So let's jump from there to there. We've added another 10, and now we're on 40, okay? And now the final jump, we need to get from 40 to 49. So we need to add another nine. So there we go, so we'll jump from there to there. And we've added another nine, okay? And the final step is to add those three numbers together. So let's start with our big number, which is 10. If we add 10 and nine together, think about the place value again. 10 plus nine is, is 19, isn't it? So we've got 19 and we're gonna add the four. So 19 add four, okay? And if you do 19 add four, you get 23. You can put 19 in your head and count on if you want to, or you can round that 19 up to 20 and do 20 add four, which will be 24, but take the one away that you rounded up there. So the answer is 23. So 49 take away 26 equals 23. Okay. Um, see how you get on. Remember to use the number line to help you and I'll look forward to marking it. I'll see you soon.